Water, a basic need for life, is now a luxury in the city of Cape Town. The city is facing a three-year drought during its peak summer season, and the result? A crisis. If we all use the water left in our dams sparingly, we can stretch up the number of days of water we have left. In the past, rainfall would fill up various dams outside the city, but little rainfall has left dams with less and less water. The question now is, why is this happening? I would not say that there's a result of mismanagement. I think the city has done very well in managing and planning. Dr. Peter Johnston is a climate scientist at the University of Cape Town. But no one expected three drought years in a row. Whether it's climate change or not is difficult to say, although we do know that climate change is um, virtually certain of increasing temperature and we've experienced increased temperatures. So that increases um, the dryness of the soil, the evaporation rate, and also the use of water. You've got to be kidding me. It's like someone's just taken a giant vacuum and just sucked it all up. That was Adam Spires, a vlogger based in South Africa who has been visiting different dams and informing his audience about the water crisis. Spires has produced multiple videos highlighting the changes he's seen in his city. We're just being at the dams. When you go to those dams, or specifically Teovatus Cliff, that's a really, you know, that's the Cape Town's main water supply. I used to go there as a kid for skiing and wakeboarding, and I used to jump off the big bridge and into the water, and, you know, and, and you're going to look at it now. It's, it's like a desert. Even South Africans living outside of Cape Town are trying to spread awareness. That's the case for Maya Kelly, a college student who currently lives in the Netherlands. She is advising tourists traveling to Cape Town to save water and to be conscious about the struggle that locals are facing. Kelly's family lives in Cape Town and fears that the collection point system that the city has worked out won't be effective. 200 collection points for such a populated city like Cape Town is not enough. Plus, we have many students who do not have cars we have a lot of old people, we have a lot of disabled people, and the collection points say they're going to have armed securities because people are worried that there's going to be civil war. While day zero is expected to arrive on May 11th, Dr. Johnston thinks that it is possible to move that date if residents in Cape Town use water wisely. We need to recycle the water we use in our own house. We used to recycle the water we use in the city. We've also got access to aquifers, underground water, which is used all over the world as a method of, of retrieving water. But we're not really sure about the recharging of those aquifers, but that is still definitely an option. He also says that desalination could be an option, but it is extremely expensive. The city is looking into aquifers and desalination plants, but for now, recycling and saving water is the way to go. For The Current International, I'm Claudia Buccio.